Okay, so 103 bridge, right? The big creek right there, that is Harvey Creek. So this is Harvey. On the south end, you have a couple of big creeks down here. You have uh, Mud Creek and you have Julie Creek and you have Calhoun Point in between now. Now, we've already given you the corner of the forest up here. If you want to run across the lake, if there's a relatively small gap between the corner of the forest, what we named earlier the Harvey Corner, and the Amber Forest. So the Amber Forest is a big patch of timber that runs, I'm going to go out scale just a little bit here, that basically runs from just this side of Bird Island and runs pretty much all the way out there and makes a corner and then runs back up through here. Okay, that's kind of how it does it and actually that's not fair. So really what I'm gonna have you do, so remember the north border of the Black Forest is the Angelina River, right? So we're gonna give you a hole to run through right there. I'm gonna give you three waypoints, one here, one here, and one here. Do not run back to the north of that. Now there's a roadbed through there. I've seen guys run. I've seen it with the water down. I'm not running it. This is big timber out here. So once you run through here, get on the south side of the river now and you can run all the way to the bridge and you're safe. So let me give you those three waypoints so that you have, you'll have, as you run through here, running from, running from the dam, running up to the, one, uh, to the uh, 147 bridge, you're gonna have the Black Forest on your left, the Amber Forest on your right. Here's your waypoints. Okay, I feel a little bit like John Madden, by the way, with all the drawing. I believe I'm going to give you the order of one, two, three, but once you get them in there, it'll be pretty easy to see. Let's start out with 31, 12.440, and then 94, 17.194, then 31, 12.416, 94, 17.441, Lastly, 31, 12.439, 94, 17.566. I believe that will be the westerly most one. But again, those should all be either right on the river or just on the south side of the river. Once you make that gap, stay on that side of the river. You can then run all the way to the 147 bridge. You can also, if you wanted to, you can swing down here and you can run into Julie. There's a little bit of timber in the back of Julie, but mostly pretty clear. There's a long point sticking out down here that's got a couple of pieces of timber on it. I think you're safe there. Um, all the water, by the way, and I'm sorry, we've not talked about this yet. Let's go back up into Harvey. So you can run once you make the corner. If you're running into Harvey, just pretty well hug this bank. Now there's a couple of big pieces of timber here but they're all within a couple of hundred yards of the, of the bank. You can run all the way to the back of Harvey, but there's a hard timber line back here. What I'll tell you is, you'll see this little bay on the side. Actually, it may be that bay right there, but I think if there's a little bay back here, there's actually one piece of timber about as big around as your arm sticking up, probably four or five, six feet out of the water at pool, so probably 170 or at 164 is probably sticking up about six feet. From there back, this is all creek and wood and lots of wood and lots of big wood. So just be careful once, if you start seeing timber, you've run too far. You need to be idling, um, unless it's the lakes, I would say probably in excess of 165 back here. Now there's one other hazard back here and it's a random hazard, so I'm gonna give it to you. It's out here, there is a roadbed, submerged road, right in here somewhere, and where it crosses uh, Harvey Creek, there's an old bridge there, and really all it is is it's railroad ties that I think probably had a wooden bridge on top of it, but come to find out railroad ties are pretty hard, so put this waypoint in, kind of like the waypoint behind the forest, just steer clear of this. I've only ever seen four of those poles there, barely under the water, but there may be more. So give, a, give this a wide berth, if you will. And that is going to be 
98.297 by 9415.710. Now, you can run pretty far past that, back up into Harvey, but again, you'll start seeing the timber back there. Once you see the timber, shut it down, start idling. Working your way back out of Harvey, this is hog branch, this is Indian, this is all pretty open, although this is all, so there's an island here, this is all shallow water, and actually, uh, a lot of times, this sticks up out of the water out here, there's a little ridge out there. Um, you'll see guys run the back side of this at pool. Uh, when it gets below pool, it's pretty shallow back there, and that's mostly clay, there's a couple of pieces of wood back there. My recommendation would be just stay outside of this, this point down here also sticks way out there. Um, a, a friend of ours um, knocked his motor off his, off his boat with his grandson a couple of years ago out here somewhere. I don't know exactly where, but he hit a, he hit a uh, what we think was probably a, a house foundation. So um, just be wary. These points are all marked on your maps. You'll see them. Just stay wide up. Now, you, if you're running up here, you can actually run the back of the Amber Forest. You run right to that island, and there's a cut through right there. You'll see guys running that, probably 160 or higher. You can run that, that's not a problem. Just follow somebody through there the first time so that you'll have a good sense of what you're doing there. All right, now then, once you clear the bridge, you've got, and I'm, I'm sorry I'm not good with distances here, but you've probably got a mile or two until you just hit nothing but timber up here. All right, so before you get there, by the way, a lot of tournaments also put in here. Uh, this is um, Castle Boykins, sorry. Uh, that's Castle Boykins public ramp. There's a ramp here and there's a ramp over here. That's the new ramp over here. Uh, these creeks down here are full of timber, okay? This is Pofers. It's pretty well wide open. You can run to the back of Pofers, not really a problem. This area right here is known as the canyons. Now, this is probably an area we, I see more people make crazy runs than any other part of the lake. I regularly see guys run all the way to the back of canyons, no matter the water level. Um, it's, I, I won't do it. So I'm gonna give you my idle spot. So it basically is right here. It's right where the water comes shallow. This is all timber back here. If you run back there, you're running very much at your own risk, and I hope you have a low deductible. So my idle spot right there is 31.13.745 by 9420.993. Anything else back here is, is, really, um, is really some dangerous stuff. All right. Um, there, I don't really know how to describe uh, where I don't think is safe up here except to tell you Somewhere right out here in the mouth of the Toyak, there's a real, real shallow spot that I marked that where you can see it. Sorry. So, by the way, um, this is the Angelina arm. This is the Toyak arm. So, right out here, there's a real shallow spot. The timber starts right on the back side of that, pretty much runs all the way across. I also did not mention to you out here, so from Castle Boykins to the bridge. There is just some random, random big ones out there. Um, that area scares me to death, even though there's probably only 20 trees out there. Uh, it's just an area that, you know, I run a trail that I've run through there over and over, but you get floaters down the river out there. You just get a lot of stuff out there on occasion. That scares me, so just be cautious running through that area. All right, so we've broken down everything basically from uh, the timber line at the mouth of the Atoyaka and, and the Angelina back down to the dam. Um, we're going to take a break now. We're going to come back and we're going to talk a little bit about these areas and how you can get around up there, uh, although we're getting into some areas that are pretty dangerous. So uh, our final uh, for this series of videos, Rayburn video, is going to be talking about the Angelina and the Atoyak. Uh, visit us at KenSmithFishing.com to see all of our videos. Thanks.